In this tutorial, we're going to review how to add, manage, and design charts in your Excel spreadsheets. You can see right here we have our Star Wars Buddies spreadsheet pulled up, which has sales figures from Darth, Luke, Lando, Han, Chewie, and Leia for the time period of January through December. And this chart, this uh, table is good, but we want to see it in a visual kind of format. So in order to create a chart, what we're going to do is start on the cell customers, which is A1, and then click and drag all the way to where it has all of the data, but it doesn't include the totals. If you include the totals, you're going to be seeing some, uh, some different kind of data uh, where it's going to be skewed, and it's actually going to show those competing with the other cells, which you don't want. So we have that selected. Now all we have to do is go to Insert and then select the type of chart. You see the chart group right here. Uh, let's start out with a line chart, just a simple basic 2D line chart. And Excel automatically calculates all those values and builds you that chart. You can drag it, you click and drag it by selecting the side and you can also change the size of it by clicking on the sides or the corners and click and drag it and now you have a full chart that lists all of those data points. This is a little bit messy so uh, what we can always do is manage it by say you want to see only two of the users competing against each other, two of the individuals. To do that you simply you're automatically already in your chart tools design tab you come up over to select data and you can see that it has taken each one of these items and it has all of your columns and then it has each one of your individuals who uh, who are filling up the chart so you can either take some of these columns away which will uh, decrease the number of items on the chart or the other thing you can do, let's hit cancel, is you can switch rows and columns. So right now it has the it has each of these items separated by the month and then the bottom is actually who our customers are. If you want to switch that you come to switch row and column and now on the bottom it's actually showing us the month and then as you follow the lines these are the customers and that's a little bit easier to read. Now say you want to compare the sales figures of Darth compared to Chewy. Come up to select data and now you see that these uh, legend entries have actually switched. Now the customers are on the left hand side and the months are on the right hand side. We want to see Darth against Chewy so you, we select Luke, get him out of the way, Select Han, take him out. Same thing with Lando and Leia. Hit OK. And now you can see a comparison between the customer sales figures for Darth and Chewie as they're compared to each other. And these are both in a blue. We can come up here and you can change the formatting to any of these type of colors. So say you want to see two red types or red and pinkish types and there you can tell those are also thicker as well. You can change it to orange. Pretty much any type of formatting thing you can imagine uh, you can change it right there. We'll go back to our blues and now what we're going to do is add some formatting tools that Excel has and so what you can do is come up to layout and now you have a full list of different options you can uh, integrate into the chart. Uh, one of the first things that you can do is add a chart title coming up here to the left hand side and click centered overlay title and we want to name this sales chart. Click out of it and now your chart has a title. Some other things that you can do 
is say that you don't want to include this table because it's just for Darth and Chewie. So you don't want to include the entire table if you put this onto a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. All you have to do is come up here to the top and click Data Table. And now we want to show Darth and Chewie's data below it. And so it's, we have it in table and chart format. So we're going to click show data table or show data table with legend keys. We'll do that one so that we can get rid of the legend on the right hand side. So click that and now you can see here you actually have all the data that was here for Darth and Chewie is now pulled below the chart. So we can scroll down a little bit and make this chart even bigger because we have all of these data points. Because we added the legend down here on the bottom, we don't need it from the right hand side at all. So we can come back up to legend, click none. You see you can also have put the legend pretty much anywhere you want, but because we have it on the bottom, we're going to click none. And now that extends the chart even further. There are quite a few other options you can do here uh, to be able to get specific data on, in terms of the chart. You can click on data labels and we can put each one of those sales figures on the different points. So every time there's a new month, it shows us what they generated in that month. And we have it on the table, but if you ever want to have it just in the chart or at those points, it's a good visual tool for being able to do that. Other things you can do are select trend lines. And when you do that, you really only do it when you have a single data point. So we're going to come back to design, select data, and we're going to get rid of Chewy. And we're going to be left just with Darth. So scroll down. So we just have our sales figures here. Come out to layout and select trend line. And there are four different options, but we're going to select linear trend line. And as you see, Excel has developed a automated trend line showing that our sales figures are actually going down and then you can compare that to you know some of the other customers and that's a really good visual tool because you uh, if you actually look at the data you may not realize it until you start to look at the actual trend so that's a really nice powerful tool that Excel has to take the trend line off click on trend line select none and now we're going to add a few more things in here. We're going to come back to design. And we, what we can do is change the chart type. So we're going to change this chart type from a line graph to a column graph. And now we can see all those data points. But now we want to see them in relation to all of the different customers we have. So we're going to click select data and you can see that right now it has the title which has the customers and the months and as dar selected we want to be able to add the rest of the uh, of the customers and you can see their names are now gone from the left hand side so we what we have to do is reselect that data so you can see here where it says chart data range and it has those items selected simply click on the uh, the selector tool on the right hand side and now click down on your shift key and click on cell M7 which will include all the data and then click back on the selector tool and now you can see it's added all of those entries again I click OK and because we now have all of this data you can also see it added to the chart below it's gotten kind of messy because we had those chart titles on um, or the amount titles so we're going to come back to layout select data labels click none and now those are all gone and it makes it so it's not quite as messy but you can see this is a great way of analyzing sales charts because you have your data tables here below the chart you have each one of the legend keys here showing you the color and then for each month you have your customer data. So you're, you'd be able to give a very quick, easy visual right here and 
you, as you can see, this only took a few minutes to set up, and you can also do some things, say you want to match your, col uh, your corporate color scheme or things like that, uh, you can come up to Format, and right here on the left-hand side, and really throughout the entire thing, this is where you can format the look and feel of your chart. So say we wanted to give it a different type of background, like a 3D type background, and you can change any of the color schemes or anything like that. Uh, you have to be careful that you don't choose a color that is too close to the color of the bars, or else it's going to be hard to read. So what we could do is give it a black one right here. It makes it very easy to see the data. You can see the chart uh, labels and this t these table this table data is actually automatically is turned white. So it's very nice and easy to read, and it gives a 3D effect here at the top. To change the formatting at any time, you select the table, come back up here. Say we want to have a white background, and we want to have a nice blue border for it. We just select that and now it's automatically been changed and because Excel works so well with PowerPoint and with Word you can simply click on this hit control C to copy it and go and paste it into a PowerPoint presentation or anything that you may need to uh, do for distributing it. But these are charts. You can have a very wide uh, array of things that you can do to make them look unique, uh, to really give them your own flavor. They're a great visual tool to give a visual representation of your table's data.